Hey everyone, Paul Ice here, and welcome to another inbox review. We've got another big one today. We've got the Magnifier 112 US Sports Car. Mm. So, from what I can figure out out there, you've got the Trumpeter GT40 Ford, which you can still get uh, from various places. I think it's well over £100 now, though. You've got the Magnifier kit, which you can pick up for as low as £70, depending on where you go. And then there's a non branded Chinese version which is even cheaper if you buy it from the Far East. From what I can see, they're all the same kit, just reboxed. Now, don't hold me to that. I'm only going on what I can see. But by the look of it, it all seems to be pretty much the same kit. So we're going to look through the box today. For £70, this is an absolute steal. There is a lot of plastic and extras in here. It really is. I know a few people have built like the Trumpeter kit and a few people who are building the magnifier. Uh, it, it's not without its issues of a cheaper kit. Uh, and we're going to see what the flaws are of the kit in this review. But for £70, for a 12 scale kit, it's 350 centimeter, uh, millimeters long. I don't think you can really complain about that. Right, let's go to the bench. Let's have a look through the box and see what we've got. Okay then, so another big box kit. Reviewing this mainly because I think for the money it's a bit of a bargain and secondly once it's reviewed I can put it away because this box is huge it is like two foot long foot and a half wide it's in the way of my cave once I reviewed it it can go away so this is a Magnifer US sports car 24 hour endurance racing car in 12 scale so basically it's a trumpeter GT40 Ford. That, that this is what I think the general consensus is. You've got the Trumpeter kit, the Magnifier kit, and then there's another no brand kit out there, and they all appear to be the same model, just in different boxings. So that's it. The Trumpeter kit is going for I think it's upwards of a hundred pounds now. Uh, these are two, but if you shop around, you can get them for £70, £80, pounds, which for a 12 scale kit is a bit of a bargain, to be honest. So the built model is going to be 35, sorry, 349 millimeters, 35 centimeters, uh, 151 millimeters wide. There's 310 pieces in here. Uh, it's a detail kit for adult collectors to assemble. Actual model will vary from the image on the box. Yeah, it might end up looking like a melted welly. Um, on the side of the box it shows the extras, so you get the photo etch, which is part of one of the reasons why I think this kit's a bit of a bargain. And I believe this boxing comes with two decal schemes for the black and the blue car. We're a bit dodgy on the light because this box is that big. And the trumpeter kit comes with just the one boxing. So I believe I can fly. No, I believe that is the difference. So let me grab my chair, my other chair, so I can take the box lid. We take it off and we'll have a very quick look at what's on here. So it's a very, very impressive box of plastic. We've got a whole bag of goodies there, so God knows what's in there. We've got the main body shell in here, which I think we'll look at first. Wheels, engine, some of the parts are pre-painted, which is a bit strange, but hey, whatever floats your boat. Uh, and there's quite a few parts in here. So what we'll do is we'll grab the body, We'll put the box to one side. We'll have a look at the body first. I'm going to bring my camera back down. There we are. Bear with me. There we go. And we'll have a look at the body. So, let's see what we got. Now, I know people who've built this, the Trumpeter and the Magnifier versions. And apparently it's not all plain sailing. But I think for a £70 kit, it's going to be a little bit of a bargain. And I think it's going to be aware that because it costs £70, it's maybe going to have the odd issue here and there. But it's a hell of an impressive model. It's a big old beast. Nicely detailed. The doors are in there as well. Plus it looks good actually. It really does look good. Uh, I take it they're clear parts, got the lights, got the chassis, there's a lot here in this bit, I don't think there's that much. So, first off the body shell, let me have a little look, you see, let me move my light over. Try to get in the way of you guys. Right, so the body shell is actually pretty well moulded to be fair, you got a typical 
seam lines across the top. It's really well molded actually. Really, really well molded. There are remnants of stain into the plastic. I thought it might have been a mold removal, but it's not mold release. Um, we've got these sprue locators that get need removing, but other than that, that's a clean piece of plastic. We've got the front clamshell cover. And again, a bit of a nasty seam on the side to remove, but that's the same with any kit. Molding's pretty crisp. Some of the intakes here are a little bit rough around the edges. Probably do a little bit of a tidy up of a file. But again, nothing, nothing really wrong with that. I've seen worse Tamiya kits. And then the centre centre part of the car, including the part of the shell, uh, the chassis, sorry. And again, pretty well moulded. It's actually pretty clean for a cheap kit, to be honest. Uh, you have to be very careful these A-pillars and so on. Just, yeah, take your time with this part, but I can't fault that at all. That is really nice and crisp and clean. I know one thing, I don't think I'm going to get all this back in that box. Um, that's going to take a bit of jiggery-pokery later. So we've got the glass parts, we'll look at in a sec. I'm not going to get all the glass out. Well, I might do, actually. We've got the lower part of the chassis, which this is the one thing we can't figure out what's going on. Why paint a bit of it and leave the rest in bare plastic? Really don't get that at all. But that's what it is. It is what it is. There's some nice raised detail, recessed detail underneath, inside. You're not going to see this really anyway. So, but again, crispy molded. A little bit of. Hmm, it's not even flash. It's just seams, which is typical of any kit, really. You've got your sprue locator points there, which you're all going to need dealing with. But it's. Again, typical of any kit. I'm trying to find fault in this for the money. That's why I keep referring it to other kits. Um, and I think we're going to be hard pressed to find fault in the kit that's 12 scale and under £100. So, yeah, no problems there. With all the doors are here. Um, I was going to say door, the other ones there. Uh, I'm not going to bother getting them out because I can see them perfectly fine through the plastic. And again, nothing wrong there. I suppose we could test fit it, couldn't we? Let's see what the doors test fit like on the bodywork. Where is it? This. Oh, you can't, oh we can't because the sprue locator points in the way. But to be fair, I think they're going to fit really well. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to have any difference. Oh, it's a different colour plastic. Not that's going to make a blind bit of difference once it's painted up. Yeah, I think that's going to go just fine. So there's two of the doors, obviously, both just the reverse of each other. And again, no issues there. I'm going to pop that back in the bag so it doesn't get damaged. Doors are good. We've got a nice bit of rubber. Ooh, that's a protector for it when it's been in. We've got the lights pre-molded in red plastic. Not really much to write home there about. And then all the clear parts as well. So as I always say, this is what can make or break a kit. Nicely individually wrapped. Wrapped in tissue to protect it. So that is a nice little touch. We're not going to get that off without wrecking it, are we? No, are we heck? And the glass parts. It's not the best glass, I'll admit that. It's a bit wavy, distorted. Clarity's not the best. It's okay though. So there's the side windows. We have got just the rear screen, I'm gonna guess. Oh we've got a scratch. Got several scratches on there already. So we'll get a bit of novus on those to polish them up. And again, the clarity is not the best. Let me bring you in so you can have a look, see what I mean. So there's the scratches. There's one there and one up there. But you can see the imperfections in the glass. If you look just below the light, you'll see it. It's like wavy lines. So, yeah, not the best. As you can see, the, the clarity 
does go as well. We're bigger up, but it's a cheap kit. This is one of the things you've got to remember. It's a very cheap kit, so it's gonna have drawbacks in places, and uh, that's it. So, best bit of them the scratch, get some Novus polish. We sell it at UMP. Get the po uh, plastic a good polish up, that's what the stuff's designed for. You get a bit more shine back. This one is a big old piece of plastic, you have to be careful with that one. And again, same kind of wavy, distorted lines in the glass. But it's passable. I think that's the most important thing. I think once it's in, it's not going to look as bad as when you're literally handling it up close and inspecting it. So, as I said, I'm not going to say all the way through this. It's a cheap kit. There's going to be compromises here and there. I'm going to try and get all this back in here, which is going to be an impossibility, I think. But we'll give it a go. So we'll put the chassis in first. We'll put that bit in next. We'll put you in there like that. You can go on the top. Door. Door. Glass. Glass. Oh, we haven't got the bag for that one. Towards myself. Yeah, so there's a lot of parts in this, so we're going to have to screw through them pretty quick, I think. Uh, plastic is plastic at the end of the day, it's not going to need a real in depth look. For the most part, body shell looks really good. I don't think it's going to give you any major issues. We've we'll put a little bag of goodies there. Right, we've got our inner. Inner door cards, steering wheel. I'm assuming there's a photo etch centre for the steering wheel. So there's our doors, we've got a rear diffuser, I'm assuming again, half pre painted, very strange, but it is. Dashboard, so the inner doors, steering wheel. Few of the bits and bobs again, cleanly molded. I really can't fault that at all. Just gonna need a normal seam clean up, no issues whatsoever. There, it's gonna be just fine. We've got a whole bag of chrome bits, we've got two of the same. I believe we have, so one of them can go over there. Open this up and have a look at the chrome. I'm going to place my bets that chrome is not very good, which isn't a, a hassle because we strip it most of the time anyway. Oh, to be fair, to be fair, I've seen worse. That's not too bad. I mean, it's totally wrong, but like the hose fittings, your hose fittings here, we zoom in a bit. There's hose fittings in chrome. They could probably be left and then pop a clear uh, blue or red over the top if they are that type of fitting back then. Anodized. You've got the wheel knock ons. Look like radiators. So it will get stripped for the most part, but I've seen worse. The chrome's actually not too bad. Does that get polished up? Let's try polishing a little bit up. Uh, so so. Top one actually scratching a bit so yeah it's going to be better stripped it always will be it'll give a better finish it'll look a lot lot better once done engine i'm literally grabbing bags as i come across them again the engine is partly pre-painted <laughs> don't ask me why but it is well that's going to fit together with no real dramas and again, a big old beast of a block of an engine. Should look pretty good, but I just don't get this part painted malarkey. I don't get what's going on at all there. But they've obviously done it for a reason. Right, pop this back in the bag. Try to keep everything in order if possible, which is going to be nigh on impossible with a kit 
of this size there is a lot of plastic in this box for the money you get a lot of plastic seats now it's in Gary building this and he's just drilled out all the seat centers so I think that's something definitely worth looking at um, the seats don't look too bad a bit basic but I'm gonna guess they probably were in the real car we've got loads of hoses intakes certainly a lot of stuff there and again it's pretty crisply molded it is other than the normal seams which i said about 400 times now it's pretty nicely molded i'm really struggling to find a fault there with the plastics so that's pretty decent we've got another bag again all different components brake calipers Looks like suspension, maybe drive shafts, prop shafts, different bits and bobs, there's all sorts in there. And again, nothing really to delve into, all nicely done. Right. So we've got what looks like part of a roll cage. And some of our chassis here. Sorry, not chassis, our interior. By the looks of it, window wiper that's nicely done, nicely molded. This is all fairly basic in here. Roll cage, there's not much to look at really on parts like this. There's not a huge amount of detail on them, even on the real car. This is the bulkhead, actually, by the look of it. Lots of ejector pin marks, so they're visibly have to deal with them. Hopefully, they're not. But again, nothing. Crispy moulded plastic, that's about all I can say. <laughs> right, so we've got more clear parts. What are these ones like? So these are smaller clear parts, these would be for the headlights. Yeah, same kind of quality plastic, exactly the same as the main glass. But other than the optical, um, not the clarity not being the best, it's not bad glass to be fair. Okay, all right, we've got the GT40 typical intakes that for every kit I've built for GT40, which is basically the Fuji 24 It's always molded in half, so he's getting glued together and filling. We've got our engine, well, it's not engine, it's the front compartment lid, rear, not spoiler, but it's the rear section for the back of the boot. We've got the roof scoop, hump, sorry. And again, crisply done, bit of clean up here and there, no problem at all with those. There is a lot of plastic in this box for the money. Right, we've got our steering rack, various other components, half of them I have absolutely no idea what they are. Again, no issues at all, there's no problem sticking on it if I don't know what it is or... If there's no issues, we've got another chrome sheet. My god, there's some chrome in this. And again, same quality chrome as the other piece. I've seen a lot worse, a lot worse on kits. That is not too bad at all. But I think pick and choose what you think needs stripping. If you think the whole lot needs to do and do the whole lot. If not, pick and choose your pieces. Some pieces can be used, some pieces can be saved, some can't, but like I say, I've seen a lot worse, a lot worse on newer kits. Uh, Revel being the main culprit, he likes to do really thick chrome. Um, my god, there's like three or four sheets of chrome in here, loads. It's certainly value for money, the kit, I give it that, I've never seen so many bags. Of sprues. Got our engine block which is molded in chrome. God knows why. Again, you got the auxiliary belts, alternator, loads of bits and bobs. Again, same quality chrome. Yep, no problems there. Another bag of chrome. And I like that chrome part. 
And again, no problems. Got the piece there that's trying to get loose, but it can't. Got the rocker covers, cam covers. I guess some more radiators. It's on. It's a big old impressive spur chrome. And again, pick and choose like the fuel filler. If you can get that off and it's not visible where it's been cut, which I think it will be, which is a bit of a shame, you could leave that bit. That bit right there will look really good, but I think once you clean it up, you're going to see the point where it's been cut off. So if they could have all that underneath, that would have been brilliant. But pick and choose what you want to keep, what you don't want to keep, and move on from there. Right, that is all the main sprues done. Now we've got about 400 tyres. Well, I say 400, there's four. And we've got foam inserts as well. So the wheels. Typical GT40 rims. I'm not even going to bother taking them out of the bag. We can see them there. Actually pretty nice. Not a bad finish either, to be fair. If you cleared that, it'd actually look quite good. But I think they need just painting over and painting the appropriate colour wherever they should be. They look good. Tyres, I'll just open one set. Obviously, wider at the rear than the front. They are branded Blue Streak Sports Car Special. Wow. I like that. Must be a popular brand. Yeah, Blue Streak Sports Car Special. Nylon. For racing purposes only. Not wet for highway use. There you go. They're an absolutely rock hard tyre. It's the same on the other side. The tread, to be fair, it's actually pretty decent. The seam's kind of buried in there. So unless you look outside on, you can't see the seam at all. So I think a light sand over that of a sander will take care of that. Uh, other ones are the same. Fronts are the same as well. No problems there whatsoever. And then you get little foam inserts, which, to be fair, I don't know why, because those tyres are rock hard. But they're there anyway, should you wish to use them. Right, there we have our instructions. Our two sets of decals. Or decals. And then we've got a whole bag of bits over here. Which is hidden in amongst all the other bags of empty bags. Right. Let's go through this bag. God only knows what's in here. It's a big old bag of bits. Let me zoom out a touch. I'm quite close there. Right, so these are all stuck together. So we've got an 80mm soft tube. A bag of screws. Ooh, another bag of screws. They're all clearly labelled as well, which is nice. A nut. Two screws. Four screws, some intake hose, flexible hose, quite good. Another screw, some soft tube, thin. Some wire, got some woven sleeving, thin. Woven sleeving, thick. Then on here we've got a spring, ooh, yeah, springs. Uh, we've got springs short, spring longer, not the spring longest next, is there? Ooh, tyre valves, wheel valves. Oh, there, nice little touch, and turned. Very good. Uh, we've got a shaft of some description. I don't know if the steering works on this or not, I'm not sure. We've got pegs. We've got another shaft. We've got bolts. Clips, steel cable, and some foam round bits there as well. Then we have some metallic stickers and seat belts, which I will make my own because they look infinitely better than these. These are the black material ones. Then we have our they look like dry transfers almost. Yeah, they can't be the most, but they might be actually. Good year markings. I don't know if they're dry transfer or not. It's hard to tell. And then we've got photo etch. So our seat buckles, harness buckles, 
some PE on the back, PE sheet and surrounds, and then PE fret of all the grills. I'm not going to get these out, there's no point. Nicely, um, nicely made PE, it's very nice though. Yeah, it looks pretty decent to be fair. Nice to get in the kit as well. Right, decals or decals. Two sets. I think we'll just look at one. We're going to bother opening both. So let's have a little look. Ooh, got tape over protecting them. Be interesting to see what the decals are going to be like. There we are. Okay, they're cheaply made decals. I can tell that straight away by looking at them. They don't look overly thick. And they're pretty basic. Hmm. Not bad. I'm going to give that a not bad. They're okay. They're not the best. But I've seen a lot worse. They're not too bad at all. Yeah, they're not bad. They're, they're passable. Hopefully they'll lay down well. If you've built this kit and you've used the decals, let me know what you think of them in the comments. And uh, we'll have a look. I see you get two sets. I think one of these is for Ken Miles' car, isn't it? And the other one is for some other person. I've got no idea at all, as usual, when I'm reviewing. Never got any clue at all what I'm looking at. Instruction book. I'll zoom us out a bit for this one. Oh god, like you say, I've got a whole bench strewn in bits of plastic. So on the back, there's the different cars. I've got a very, very strange oily feeling on my fingers. I don't know what's going on there. Got colour cards in the back. They are Mr. Hobby, uh, Mr. Hobby Accretion, Vallejo, uh, what looks like model colour, Model Master, Tamiya XXF, Humbrol. Yep, the blue is definitely the more striking of the car. Very, very nice. Lovely. Right, it's a thick instruction book. We've got the US sports car picture on the front. Ah, oh, who didn't have a US sports car on the wall as a child? Excellent. Inside, we've got a bit of history. No, we don't. There's no history at all. It's got decal application and read before assembly. It's basically, you know, don't jump off buildings while you're building your kit or stick the parts up your bum things like that, you know, just important safety instructions I've got a sprue layout there as well as you can see there is a lot in this kit for the money a lot of sprues instructions, right okay, so I've got engine assembly first okay, instructions are actually pretty clear You've got a little ruler measurement down here for cutting your hoses till zoom in and touch. You've got a little ruler down here, it mentions aftermarket parts. Deep blue, so it is going for the anodized hose connectors. Using CA glue. Instructions aren't bad to be fair. Quite busy down here, this is quite busy. There's a lot to read and a lot to take in, but I think once you get used to it. It's not really going to give you any issues at all. It's quite clear and concise. This ruler is on every page that needs parts cut to length. It's not too bad at all. A lot of parts are screwed in, which is quite typical with some of the 12 scale kits, be it from Tamiya, Fujimi, whatever. A lot of the parts can be screwed in place. But instructions actually look decent. Again, got the inner padding. I'm not sure why they've done that because. It's, it's so thick, the tyre anyway. They are decals on the back, so white tyre serves you the paper. Moist, same as the Tamiya, Tamiya, Tamiya markings. Brake discs. So what are we just skip forward with the instructions quick. I'm trying to show you page by page, but we'll be here all day. So yeah, uh, the instructions are pretty decent to be fair. I thought it was going to be really lacking. To be fair, they're pretty decent. There's your harnesses. Pretty basic harnesses, four-point harnesses. I think you'd be better off using your own black ribbon. Use the P that comes 
with the kit, but use your own actual black ribbon and some of the stuff that comes with it. Roll cage, get the cockpit tub in, assembling the doors, popping some of the windows in, dashboard, steering wheel. Ah, it's not it's not photo sensor, it's actually plastic. There's that shaft, I'd have it would be, and the steering must work as well. Bit of a novelty. So yeah, assembly, pretty straightforward all the way through. It's complicated in places. But pretty self-explanatory for the most part. Brake cooling ducts. Screwing the chassis to the body. It doesn't look too bad. It really doesn't look too bad at all. It's, um, yeah, it's quite an in-depth build. There's a lot of parts, a lot of plastic in that kit. That will certainly keep you busy for a while. And the front section pops off. And by the look of it, the rear section hinges up, does it? But no, it doesn't hinge up, it just comes off. That's good. And then on the back, you've got a decal and painting. So there we are. Let's go back to me, have a little chat about what we think. Well, I think for 70 quid, 70 pounds, or even if you get it for under 100 pounds, depending on where you get it from, and which, box, which boxing you get, I think that's a lot of plastic, PE, and chrome parts for your money. There's a lot in that box. It's 315 parts. There's a lot in there. There really is. Um, and while it's probably not going to be without its problems, I think overall that's a, a good kit to add to the stash if you like your larger scale build. So this was bought for me by my buddy Sam. Thank you, mate. You're a crazy madman. Um, it's been on the floor in the cave for a few days, and I need to review it to get out of the way. So there we go. It's done. But that's a lot of plastic. PE, all sorts of extras in there, big bags of screws, all sorts of stuff. It's a lot of stuff for 70 quid. It really, really is. Uh, like I say, if you like your large scale kit, it's definitely one worth adding to your um, your stash overall. There we are then. So, yeah, it looks okay. Uh, when we'll get around to building this one, I don't know because we've got so many other kits to get out of the way, including the Fujimi Skyline 12 scale that we're going to be starting today. Uh, but I've been eager to look through the box properly. I had a quick look through this when it arrived. So it's nice to delve through all the parts and see. Well, I think the only downside to this kit are the clear parts because they're not quite as clear as they could be. But again, it's a cheap kit. It's where the kits usually let themselves down when they're cheaper. And the decals as well, decals. Um, don't look to be the best printed quality. But I think they'll probably go down without issues by the look of it. They don't look too thick, which is good. Um, and they look quite clear and they look in register and what have you. So, yeah, I think it's well worth a punt this one. I did say punt. Um, so if you've got the kit, if you've built it, let me know your thoughts. You know, like I say, Gary out there is building it at the minute. I know my friend Alan built the trumpeter version and sai has got the Chinese version. They compare them, they look the same. So if you've got any thoughts or comments, pop them down below. And I'll uh, always be interested to hear your views on the kit. So, there we go. Another large-scale review out of the way. Thanks for watching today. As always, make sure you sub to the channel. Click that bell notification. Give the video a thumbs up and leave a comment down below. I do appreciate all the comments left by everybody. And uh, check out Interesting Scale Model Facebook page and forum, umpretail.com. My Paul ISM Facebook and Instagram page, and of course, the Live the Bench page for the live show news and the offer hangout group for all the uh, hangout links for our offer hangouts. So, there you go. Thanks, everyone. Take care. Bye bye.